Hello everyone, you're watching Sideline. Today we're talking to a guest who's been immersed in the Mongolian stock market uh, since his college years. So, Tim Wujing, thank you for coming. Thank you. It's, it's my pleasure. So, uh, Tim Wujing, you graduated from a university in the United States majoring in finance. And now you work at the uh, Apex Capital uh, brokerage firm, a securities company, mm -hmm. as an investment analyst. Right. So for our audience, could you tell, uh, I'm going to ask like, a very simple question. Okay. Could you tell us uh, the advantages being active in the so uh, stock market versus just uh, keeping your money in the savings account? So in Mongolian market, the uh, Mongolian citizens, citizens mostly, the traditional way of uh, saving money is just putting the money in the bank. Yes. Savings in the bank mm -hmm. account. Uh, the very low interest yeah, rate. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now it's getting uh, turning into more like uh, stocks and bonds, and people want more returns from bonds. So mm -hmm. they diversify their portfolio into stocks and bonds. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the, could you tell us the reason that why people should be more active in the stock market investing? When, okay. So when you say it's uh, being active in the market, mm -hmm. that's not, that doesn't mean uh, trading stocks uh, by just buy and sell. It's more like uh, investing in the long term. Mm -hmm. show. So a lot of people think uh, trading active and being active in the stock market makes them a lot of money. But buying and selling is too risky for people who want to ma make a, just a short term profit. So mm -hmm. we advise people to just invest in the long term, uh, just collect the stocks, maybe just this week invest in Apple stocks, just next week invest in monthly stocks and then do these things over and over again. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So uh, there are over uh, 50 securities company in Mongolia, and one mm -hmm. of them is Apex uh, Capital. Mm -hmm. So could you tell us, and you've been working there uh, since its establishment back in 2018. So right. could you tell us what a securities company brokerage firm do in general, and also what's uh, special about the one you've chosen to mm -hmm. work for? That's right. Uh, at Apex Capital, uh, we strive to be a better company uh, ethical company. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to make our clients happy. We care our clients. Uh, of course, along the way, uh, as the client's number gets, uh, gets more and more, mm -hmm. uh, we have to uh, put more effort into caring our customers. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, we do uh, education uh, contents and we try to make our clients educated. As a result, we can also provide them better return. Mm -hmm. uh, in stocks and bonds as well. Mm -hmm. So what kind of uh, services do you offer at your company? Okay, so we offer brokerage service, uh, foreign, st uh, foreign investment into st foreign stocks. Mm -hmm. Also, we offer uh, bond investments. Also, we offer uh, underwriting services for the companies who want to raise uh, financing through uh, IPOs and bonds. Mm -hmm. So how many IPOs or how many um, bonds have you worked uh, through your brokerage. Okay, fund. so in 2018, our total number of financing raised was about 1 billion to Greeks. Mm -hmm. Now it reached uh, in total of 120 billion to mm -hmm. So that's a yeah, phenom times. phenomenal <laughs> growth in, in our company. Uh -huh. And uh, as a result, that's, that's only in the number of underwriting services. Mm -hmm. Also, we do, uh, we got revenues from uh, brokerage services and other our in, uh, our own individual investments as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, but from the brokerage service, you only take one percent commission, so which is very low uh, right. in Mongolia. Yeah. So and also, uh, I want to ask you about the uh, uh, creating your investment portfolio. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, could you tell us to our audience who do not know much about the uh, you know, stock market, what is a portfolio and how to make a, mm -hmm. a good portfolio? That's right. So if you create a stock portfolio, even if you, if you have just two stocks, that's an investment portfolio. Not one, two. Yeah, not <laughs> one. Uh, not just one stock is just one stock, you know. Mm -hmm. So two stocks and then add, uh, add bonds and foreign stocks, also add ABS, the asset-backed mm -hmm. security rec we recently issued on uh, Mongolian Stock Exchange. So if you're a young, young person, you should invest in the long term. So that means your portfolio uh, must consist of more from the stocks. Uh -huh. So if you're an older person, uh, you, you want your asset to be safe and stable. So you go for the more into services. bonds uh -huh. and more uh, asset-backed asset securities, securities mm -hmm. such as like uh, stable income. Uh, investments. 
how about a person who is very new to the stock mm -hmm. market, who hasn't um, bought any like securities? So how many uh, stocks or maybe the bonds or uh, asset-backed securities can uh, that person, would you say, should add into their part uh, portfolio? So, um, Like the if, number. <laughs> right. If the person is just starting out, uh, I would advise to just start with the little as little as 100,000 to Greece, invest mm -hmm. in some stocks and then add... How many different stocks, maybe? Uh, just start with five. Ah. Five top stocks of the Mongolian, on the Mongolian Stock mm -hmm. Exchange. But if the person has a like, lump sum of money, a uh, like big Lots amount of, of money, money uh, he or she wants to invest in, uh, they should choose uh, bonds and more like a stable income sources. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because they are new, so they should choose the like, safe uh, yes. options as possible. Right. Uh -huh. So in Mongolia, how many of our citizens nationals are active on the stock market? How many of them are actively mm -hmm. investing in the stock market? That's right. Uh, recent, uh, in 2012, it was uh, Mongolian stock market and Mongolian economy was booming because of the Ayutthaya project. Uh, there were Since a lot then of the foreign growth started. <laughs> that's right. Uh, a lot of foreign investors, foreign money was coming in, mm -hmm. but right after that boom there was a bust and uh, economy went down true. and the uh, stock market, the foreign investors left. So uh, right now it's a different, uh, different scenario because uh, a lot of the money is coming from domestic side mm -hmm. and domestic uh, companies, domestic, domestic investors. institutions, investors. Uh, uh. So as a result, it makes the stock market more stable, but uh, because also... Because they're likely to stay in the country. That's right, uh -huh. yeah. And the recent crypto, crypto phenomenon happened. Uh, so. Previously, it was like uh, if the people invested in stock market, they could land back on the bank savings. Yeah, now they would it's compare it with the yeah, bank. that's right. Ma now it's maybe they lost some money on the crypto market. Maybe mm -hmm. they should uh, they should uh, Turn to land the back market. into the uh, Mongolian stocks. Mm -hmm. But it can be uh, different scenarios. Uh, of course, uh, there's al always an opportunity, even in the crypto market. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Mongolian uh, stock exchange has the, uh, is twenty uh, thirty years old around thirty years old, mm -hmm. and but it hasn't shown much success, much growth in the first like two decades. And but we we're saying that growth happened uh, recently. So, mm -hmm. uh, for example, in twenty twenty one, Mongolian stock market uh, has grown to one hundred thirty three percent. So which was like. Uh, the highest uh, in the world mm -hmm. like due to, uh, in terms of growth. That's so right. what would you say contributed to this mm -hmm. like a very big growth? That's right. So recently our Mongolian domestic stock market trading uh, system improved. Uh, there were a lot of applications. Also, ah, we yeah. provide the system. So it's like very easy to trade. That's uh, right. Uh, to invest. Uh, uh, it's very convenient for the people to invest. Before it was uh, you, you have to go to the brokerage firm to confirm your order and got to make sure if, if they really bought the stocks <laughs> or not. So now it's more into the system. They can, people just can easily access the apps and systems. So we really think this, uh, this situation created the uh, more opportunities for the Mongolian stock market to grow. And, mm -hmm. But not only that, uh, also, bank savings rate dropped around ah, yeah. from the average of 13% to 14% to uh, 7 to 8 9%. Ah. So that really uh, fueled the uh, investors to move into bonds and stocks. They wanted more returns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we've been talking about the growth happened in the Mongolian stock market. So what more growth do you foresee in the future? Like how it's possible mm -hmm. to grow? So we, in the future, we expect uh, a lot of growth. Um, of course, there will be inflation. Of course, there will be economic uh, pause, economic problems. Mm -hmm. But in the end, there is uh, uh, companies are working, companies are developing themselves. There is more sales, more revenues. So the value of the companies will be better. The stock the stock mm -hmm. prices will be better. And at the same time, there is a, also a bond market. Uh -huh. uh, the bond is usually in simple terms, bond is like uh, lending, lending the money from, uh, from the customers to the company. So in the end, the company can use those funds to make their company better. And then they make an IPO probably. Mm -hmm. So as a result, they can also, customers can also uh, buy the company's uh, uh, com uh, company shares. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. And the same uh, applies for the uh, asset-backed securities. But yes. it's like more uh, secure. 
Yes. Uh, yeah, rec we recently uh, cooperated with the uh, OmniActive non-banking financial institution. Mm -hmm. So asset backed security is a collection of loans, very high quality loans. And when the uh, loan payment comes in, the asset backed security owner gets the payments. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty um, low risk and very trustworthy uh, yeah. uh, product, I, I would say. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. The asset back, uh, back securities is on only for two years. So yeah. why is it only for like two years? So most of our bond products are uh, from one to two years. Mm -hmm. uh, as the bond market progresses, it will, the duration of the bonds will increase. eventually increase and mm -hmm. it, it might be three to four years, maybe five years. Um, there's also a U.S. government bonds, 30 years, 20 years, you know. Uh -huh. So uh, right now, it's this product, especially in this product, uh, product it's two years. Uh, after one year, they will make a principal payment of 50%. So if you invested 100,000 uh, 100, degrees, mm -hmm. and they will give back, them, give back the 50,000 after one year, and then 50,000 after two years. Mm -hmm. So, but during that time, also there's interest, you know, 14.5%. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, but uh, so I forgot to ask you, like, to explain like those some of the terms, like, what's stock, what's bond, and mm -hmm. what's asset-backed securities and other uh, terms. Okay. So, in terms of stocks, uh, you can. There's a two way of making money from the stocks. Uh, One is trading. <laughs> yes. Uh, I mean, y you can make uh, money from price increase, or you can make uh, money from dividends mm -hmm. from those companies, from ah. those shares. So but there's a two ways. Some mm -hmm. of the companies, they offer to uh, give dividends, but some of uh, some right. don't, right? Yes, uh, that really depends, on the, the depends on the board of directors of ah. those companies. They have to make a decision. Even they make a lot of profit or even if their cash flow is pretty good, mm -hmm. uh, they can uh, decide, decide not to give the dividends. Instead, just invest that, mm -hmm. invest that, invest that money back mm -hmm. into the company. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, mm -hmm. I understand that the dividends, so it's kind of like only very uh, mm -hmm. beneficial to the ones who have, mm -hmm. uh, who have purchased like a large amount of stocks. But if a person who only like uh, takes um, like one or two mm -hmm. uh, shares of that stock right. and that won't like very beneficial to those uh, investors. That's right. Uh, basically, it depends on, on the people's perspective also. If you if you only follow the dividends, it won't be enough. You know, uh, let's say this year's uh, inflation was about 15 percent, 14.5 to 15 percent. That's uh -huh. very high. So most of the company dividends, the highest can be uh, around seven to eight mm percent -hmm. uh, on the Nowhere stock market. The if you compare the dividend amount to the stock price, mm -hmm. so we can really base our reason on the dividends. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, we should also follow bonds. Also, we want to. Uh, we want more growth in the stock price. Mm -hmm. So, in that way, the uh, people can make more money. Mm -hmm. But the stock price can fluctuate year over year. Some years it will be down twenty percent. Some years it will be up hundred percent. Sometimes yeah, it's two hundred percent. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's more like five hundred percent. It's it's, mm -hmm. cr uh, it's crazy. There's crazy things happening in the yeah. stock market, but uh, it. There, sh there should be some balancing happening. Uh, investors also should be careful and they should diversify, uh, choose bonds, uh, mm -hmm. also stocks, maybe also foreign stocks. We also at Apex Capital, we provide uh, foreign stock investments uh, mm -hmm. to our customers. Uh, but you yeah. have to go to your brokerage firm to be able to uh, invest in the in international markets. So it's, uh, it's pretty easy in our company. So mm -hmm. if you just open a domestic uh, brokerage account, and mm -hmm. additionally, you make uh, you make a contract uh, on mm, the contract. international investments. Uh -huh. So that's it. You just uh -huh. and after that contract, you are able to invest in stock market, mm -hmm. okay. uh, foreign stock so market. So just like yeah. one contract away. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. yes. So uh, so we've talked about the stock and bond. So but there is like other things that you can purchase at the stock market, such as mutual mm -hmm. funds. So uh, right. could you explain those? Okay, so uh, last year we worked on Mandel Future Growth Fund. Uh, mm -hmm. It was worth about 50 billion tukriks. Mm -hmm. uh, it was 50 billion tukriks and now it's publicly traded. So people, customers, clients, uh, maybe foreign investors who want to invest in 
uh, foreign uh, uh, mutual fund stocks, there mm -hmm. is two choices. Uh, one is Mondial Future Growth. And another fund. one is ART. Another one is ART Fund. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the terms of a non-Mongolian citizen uh, invest in the stock market through your brokerage firm? Is it just the same as a uh, Mongolian person? Yeah, it's fairly the same as a uh, Mongolian person. So uh, we also provide uh, foreign investors to open a bank, uh, open a brokerage account uh -huh. in Mongolia and we help them also. Uh, we show them uh, advisory services mm -hmm. and we also take, take care of their investments in Mongolia. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, for foreign investors, they want clarification, uh, clear, uh, clear terms to invest in Mongolia. Sometimes they uh, they come here uh, just as a person and directly face with the uh, investments and mm -hmm. that f uh, that's pretty risky for them you know they can't really take care of their uh, investments time to time they ah. always have to be here to take care of them but uh, so they should buy a bond but, but before yeah mm -hmm. but before that uh, there is us we can help help uh -huh. them to ah, yeah, sure, invest sure. in mm -hmm. bonds or stocks or other businesses they want, mm -hmm. they want to invest in. Uh -huh. So the bonds, they, they are one of the like, safest choices mm -hmm. on the stock market. And a privately placed bond means that uh, it is not for everyone. It is just for some uh, companies uh, and entities and also the people with like lots of wealth. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're a foreigner, then you, can, uh, you are free to buy the mm -hmm. privately, yes. you're open to buy yes, a privately right. placed bond. Yes. Uh -huh. So in 2021 and 2022, so there is a, like one major milestone in the Mongolian stock exchange history because uh, the recently the Bogd Bank, it has launched its IPO. And now in June, there are other like five banks who are going to launch their IPOs on the stock market. So what advice would you go those who are interested mm -hmm. in, uh, in buying the shares of those banks? How would you choose a mm -hmm. bank to invest? Okay. so. Uh, many different advisors, many different investors will say a different thing about uh, bank IPOs, uh, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, profitable or whether it's a good, good thing to invest in. Uh, from my personal perspective, I would say it's, uh, they won't, there won't be that much growth in the bank stocks, also there won't be that much drop in the bank stocks. Uh -huh. There will be more like a stable income, uh, stable investment. Mm -hmm. So for example, uh, like a for foreign investors, they're looking for li looking to diversify their investments in different countries. Mm -hmm. If they choose Mongolia, mm -hmm. uh, they can invest that stock into uh, bank stocks. Mm -hmm. So, because we, we expect the bank stocks to be more stable, uh, I think there won't be that much growth in sto bank stocks, of, and not much drop in the bank stocks. It will mm -hmm. be more like a stable investment, I believe. So, uh, and some some banks are very profitable. So. If the investors are looking to get a dividend benefit from stock ah, investments, yeah. uh -huh. it'll be a great choice. Okay, thank you. Uh, we've, we've talked about that Mongolians haven't been that active on the stock market mm -hmm. because they think that it's something that only like a wealthy person should do. Mm -hmm. Like uh, if you are, have got like lots of millions, mm -hmm. then you can invest in the s stock market. So what would you say to uh, say to those people who are hesitant to if they should open their mm -hmm. uh, securities account? Okay, so I would say it's the people who want to invest in stocks, uh, mm -hmm. they, they should not hesitate. Uh, they should not think this thing as a big thing, you know, uh, like a... Even if you have 10,000, then you yes, can even still... even you have 10,000 to you can buy just five shares from the uh, Mongolian stock market, mm -hmm. uh, any company you want to buy. Yeah. And uh, from that point, you can develop the investments. Uh, mm -hmm. Week over week, uh, month over month, you can just invest 10,000, 100,000 and eventually maybe people who are working, uh, uh, may maybe could people who are following the career, they, can, they, they might make more money in the future from, uh, they might, their salary might increase, uh -huh. so they will be able to uh, mm -hmm. contribute to their savings more, uh, like in terms of saving, I, I mean uh, more into the stocks. You uh -huh. know? And once, once the stock p portfolio gets bigger, you can invest into st bonds mm -hmm. and get a more stable income. Ah. You want to make that asset more stable and safer. Mm -hmm. So Timujin, thank you very much for coming and it has been wonderful to talk to you. It's my pleasure and uh, thank you for inviting me. So if you watch Sightline, our guest today was Timujin Nikhtushin, investment analyst at Apex Capital.